three of them will be on the platform. Dassault Systems has invested a lot of time and effort in making and enhancing VR capabilities on the platform, so users will be able to see simulation results that were generated on the platform, pushed over and actually produced and visualized in VR. For two of them, it will be for our tool called PowerFlow, which is our uh, CFD LBM code. Typically in the industry, there's two paths that customers will take, whether that be Navier Stokes or LBM. A lot of TNM, a lot of our TNM customers do use PowerFlow to solve some of their fluid challenges, especially for exterior aerodynamics, aeroacoustic soiling challenges. So two of the experiences will be able to showcase those results that customers generally produce on a day-to-day -day basis in VR. Um, you'll be able to visualize things like streamlines, surface images, ISO surfaces uh, on one of our DS vehicles and quickly change results and move around the vehicle to see how the results are performing on the vehicle. On the CST side, you'll be in a factory where you'll see several different design iterations of placements of cell towers and then visualize what the coverage inside the factory looks like based on the different positioning of the towers, but not only from kind of an overhead level, but actually on the ground in the factory, seeing things in life size. And then also there will be a off-platform PowerFlow VR demo. The off-platform experience that we will have available for users today will be a PowerFlow experience, and that's in a tool that we've developed uh, internally to allow customers to take existing PowerFlow results that they already generate on a day-to-day -day basis and quickly convert them into VR in a matter of minutes. And so customers will be able to see those results generated and see them in a collaborative manner uh, with two users inside the same session, moving around the vehicle, changing results, communicating to each other. A lot of customers in, in the TNM industry where I primarily work are moving more and more to virtual design and testing, away from physical testing, virtual design and testing. That's uh, necessitated by the requirement or the desire to have shorter turnaround times. And with more and more accurate simulation technology, that's becoming more and more possible.